Terrifying day rock models show Phlegraean Fields volcano more likely to erupt than previously thought. The volcanic nature of the Campi Phlegrae, or Phlegraean Fields, has been known since ancient times. The hot springs and fumaroles were a popular holiday destination for wealthy Romans and in 79 AD the nearby Mount Vesuvius erupted, destroying the famous city of Pompeii. In 1539 a smaller volcanic eruption formed the 403 feet high cone of Monte Nuovo, a new mountain. Victorian geologist Charles Lyell argued in 1830 that a deep underground magma chamber would explain not only the active volcano but also the strange phenomena he had observed. In the Roman ruins, he saw boreholes in the rocks, made by marine mollusks and now found 22 feet above current sea level. The only possible explanation for Lyell was that a large magma chamber, periodically refilled with molten rock, would first pull down the column below sea level, then over time, push the land up and lift the column above sea level again. Earthquakes were recorded in the 1950s, 1970s, and 1980s, followed by measurable uplift. We now know that the Campi Flegre magma chamber lies 1.8 miles below the surface. Exactly how the magma causes the observed ground movements is not fully understood. The classical model is that as the magma chamber fills, the greater volume simply pushes the overlying land upward. An alternative model is that the hot fluids from the magma heat the rock and the large body of groundwater found beneath Campi Flegre. Because the hot water has a greater volume, it expands and the land is pushed up. However, simulations carried out by a team of researchers from University College London and the Vesuvius Observatory in Naples and published under the title Progressive Approach to Eruptions in the Campi Flegre Caldera in southern Italy have shown that this periodic uplift causes pressure to build up in the rocks above the magma chamber. making it more likely for magma to find its way to the surface, increasing the likelihood of an eruption. Other volcanic activity, such as gas released from underground, has shown that the Phlegraean fields are still quite active. Since 2005, the ground around the city of Pozzuoli, which is located almost in the center of the Campi Flegre caldera, a large, partially collapsed volcanic crater, has risen by 1.25 feet. Both effects are not unusual in the area. The column described by Lyell, also located in Pozzuoli, shows that uplift has occurred repeatedly in the last 2,000 years and that the ground has even periodically collapsed again. However, a new model of how the rocks, which cover the magma chamber, react to phases of uplift shows unexpected behavior. During uplift, the rocks are deformed. Under pressure, rocks become more brittle, 
making it easier for magma to break the rock and form volcanic conduits to the surface. Previous geological models assumed that as the pressure in the magma chamber decreases, the tension in the overlying rock would also decrease. However, the new model suggests that tension tends to build over time. As the ground lifts, rock breaks and magma is injected from the deep magma chamber into shallower areas of the phlegraean fields. Even if the magma doesn't erupt to the surface, it cools and hardens in the cracks it creates. This newly formed volume of rock tends to keep the surrounding rock under pressure and tension. With each phase of uplift, the rock is subjected to higher tension forces, becoming more brittle and vulnerable to breaking at any time. Meanwhile, scientists recently discovered that magma appears to be building up beneath the caldera. The researchers think this means the volcano is starting a new caldera cycle, which could mean a major eruption is imminent. Fortunately, the study does not suggest that such an eruption is imminent. However, outside experts have questioned the team's assertion that their results indicate Campi Flegre is about to erupt. Volcanologist Christopher Kilburn, of University College London, said the researchers drew their conclusions based on their results. Luca de Siena of the University of Aberdeen in the UK told Newsweek that the problem facing researchers investigating Campi Flegre and other large volcanic systems is that we can't yet see the plumbing that lies deep beneath the surface. <laughs>